Pay attention, son. This is for your own good. I was kidding around with a rather literate friend of mine recently. You know how friends are. They might needle you in a nice sort of way. Get under your skin a little bit. I forgot what we were talking about, but he looked at me and he said, You maladroit. What do you think he meant? Well, technically his statement was not correct. The word maladroit is an adjective, which is a word that modifies or describes a noun. My friend used it as a noun itself. In other words, he correctly could have said, you maladroit fool. If we do a quick breakdown on the components of the word, the prefix mal, M-A-L, means bad or wrong, or connotates being insufficient, such as the words malformed, malnourished, or malefactor. The word adroit or adroit means proper or right. So the overall connotation in maladroit as an adjective is something that is wrong or substandard. But beyond the incorrectness of my friend's use of the word, what I like about the English language is its flexibility. It changes over time based on usage. For example, ginormous was not a word. Correctly, you could express that sentiment with either the word gigantic or enormous. But common usage by people wanting to create another superlative way for saying large led the Webster's Dictionary people to recently approve the new word. And I nominate maladroit for officially approved use as a noun. Why? Because it just sounds good in that function, don't you think? I mean, we're all always looking for a way to needle our friends when they do something kind of dumb. You know, put them down a little bit. You maladroit! Keep it in mind, the next time your friend does something kind of goofy and you don't want to waste the opportunity for a nifty little put down, just look him straight in the eye and say with just a hint of disgust, you maladroit. Technically, you won't be correct, but I think you'll sound cool. And maybe we'll get the people at Webster's to change the English language again. I'm the Transit TV teacher, Justin Vior.